The Grand Power Excalibur Mark 23. Let's check it out. Grand Power, based out of Slovakia. They've been in business since 1998. They entered the U.S. market in 2008. They make a pretty extensive line of firearms, including handguns, double single action, striker fire, a number of different calibers. They also produce the Strebog, which is one of my favorite little, what I call PDWs, uh, and also M4 clones, and they make heavy machine guns. 95% of their production is exported to different countries, military and police. But one of the big things about their handguns is they have that rotating barrel system, which make them very soft to shoot. It's really a delayed blowback, but it's also a very different experience. Uh, Beretta has their PX4 Storm, which has the rotating barrel system as well. And to me, it's one of the most underrated handguns in the US. It has that similar soft shooting feel and makes it an excellent option for competitive shooting, but they also make smaller versions for concealed carry or for a duty pistol. So we're gonna take a good look at the Excalibur. This is their Mark 23. And they also have the Match, which has even more upgrades. But guys, this is something to experience, and it's definitely different than all the polymer frame striker fire pistols that we've seen flood the market. Just gives us some more options. And I want to give a big thank you to Nate over at Gun Zone Deals for sending the Excalibur Mark 23 for this review. Gun Zone Deals really helps us out on bringing a lot of unique firearms to you guys. Guys, I love innovation. And the Excalibur Mark 23 is definitely on that line. Um, you know, we see so many polymer frame striker fire pistols and, and there are variances, there are differences, but really when it comes down to it, you know, they're pretty close to the same. That's why I always love to have something that's just unique. And this is definitely something that's outside of the norm. One of the big things about it is the rotating barrel system. So let's go ahead and drop our 15 round magazine and we're going to check the chamber and the gun's empty and you'll watch that barrel. It actually rotates. And what that does, it gives it just enough delay to allow the gas pressures to come back. And it cycles the action, but it just softens the recoil. Um, and we're going to talk about the way this gun shoots, because it's definitely a different experience. Really falls in line with the PX4 Storm by Beretta. Uh, this also has that rotating barrel system. You can see it rotate. Uh, to me, one of the most underrated handguns on the market. Uh, and we're getting ready to see some Langdon Tactical uh, upgrades on these. And I'm very excited because I really like the Beretta PX4 Storm. But this is an incredible shooting gun, which falls in line again with the Grand Power, which is just a little bit lesser known. Definitely a lot of Eastern European styling to it, but Really, the Excalibur is, is beautiful. Uh, and this really is made more toward the sport shooter or competitive shooter. Now, they do have the match, and the match really kind of extends the barrel, extends the slot a little bit, and it's more for straight out of the box competitive shooting. Now, my first experience was the K100 by Grand Power. Uh, pretty much the same uh, frame, type frame. In fact, I believe these slides will interchange. The one thing, though, is it also has that rotating barrel system with a smaller size handgun or standard size, full size handgun. Uh, then you have your uh, smaller compact versions that they also make, which make it a great concealed carry option. 
And because of that rotating barrel, it's just a different experience and it's a good experience. Uh, one of the things that we noticed at the range was when we're shooting, it doesn't come back as much in your hand as it works up here where the recoil, you can feel the action, the barrel turning. So it just gives it really a totally different feel to this handgun. A lot of people for the past few years have been hoping Glock would come out with a rotating barrel system. So we'll see how that goes. But also the Q100. Now this is a polymer striker fire pistol but also has that rotating barrel system. This is a beautiful shooting gun. Uh, and of course, we don't have any frame safeties on here. It goes more toward the standard trigger safety. Uh, but this really compares to any of your striker fire pistols that are out there. It's just not as well known. So what have we got? We have a absolutely beautifully machined handgun. Uh, you have all the lightning cuts that come with the slide. Uh, and these are really deep. Now there was the Mark 12, which is a little bit different. Uh, it had a black barrel. This one has a stainless steel barrel. Uh, it's very polished and it's really smooth in the action. So these act also as uh, serrations. And then we have deeper serrations here at the back. Uh, but one thing about this, the lightning cuts is that it relieves a lot of weight. Uh, and we'll look at the inside of the slide as well. There's a lot of weight removal, which keeps this less recoil. Uh, when it's coming back, there's just less slide mass. Now guys, when you have a long slide pistol, which this is, I mean, the barrel is just under five inches. Uh, you've got a lot of metal up here on your slide. Of course, with all the relief cuts, this does minimize the effect uh, and also the relief cuts that are inside the slide itself to get it down to a manageable level. But you will notice when we're shooting that you do have some muzzle flip and that comes just from the slide going back to the rear. Uh, but you'll also notice that the sight comes right back down on target. Uh, two, with this rotating barrel system, the action relieves a lot of the recoil. So in your hand, you feel the slide coming back, but there's not a lot of recoil. And that's really the big plus. The shorter the slide and a little bit shorter the barrel, actually it shoots flatter. But with all this metal, it's definitely gonna just give you a little bit of muzzle flip but again, it's gonna bring that sight right back on target. Now with the K100, uh, this has been upgraded. There are deeper slide serrations, there's some other things. It's been a number of years since I've reviewed this one. Uh, and so there have been changes made. Uh, but one thing that's really cool is that I can take my uh, K100 mag and I can drop out my Excalibur mag and they're interchangeable. Uh, and another thing about this is it comes with three mags. So one in the gun, two additional mags. Now this is a double single action semi-automatic pistol. So when you have your hammer in the down position with a round in the chamber, all you have to do is pull the trigger and it'll actuate the hammer without the hammer being in the rear position. On a single action pistol, the hammer, whether you rack the slide or you pull the hammer back, it has to be in the rear position to trip the sear on a single action. And we're gonna talk about the trigger because this trigger is incredible, uh, both double and single action. Here we have some rounded off cuts and it has kind of a very unique, almost a tumbled look to it. That's been a signature of the Grand Power pistols. We have Excalibur engraved right on the top. We have fiber optic front. We have an adjustable sight at the rear, both windage and elevation. And this is optics ready. And unlike a lot of the handguns that we're getting now that are optics ready, they don't include the plates. You have to order the plates. This comes with a Vortex or Burris plate and then an RMS plate, uh, one of the Shield RMS. They do make the Trigicon RMR and they make an additional plate, but they make four different plates for these. But these are the two that I got with this pistol. The hammer is kind of a unique design. The originals were more of a rounded off commander style. You do have kind of a beaver tail area that comes up. Now we have frame safeties, which can be used as gas pedals. Uh, when you're firing the gun, you bring down your safety and you're able to rest your thumb here. It gives you just more control over the firearm. Uh, but these can be switched out. In fact, these have the smaller, more low profile safeties that are come with the gun. So if you don't want the large paddles, you can put on these smaller ones. With the K100, here are the original safeties right here. And they're minimal, but yet they're very definite. Also, we have our slide stops or slide releases. They are ambidextrous. 
our mag release here and here is ambidextrous as well and the takedown levers are on either side so this is honestly a truly ambidextrous handgun it's not just for left-handed shooters if you want to switch hands and you want to shoot weak hand or you need to shoot weak hand it gives you the ability to control the handgun with your left hand just like you would with your right graham bates who is a good buddy of mine and he loves the graham power i mean he has all of them and he has a great channel you can check it out i'll have it annotated above now really what graham power is probably most known for is their Strebog. And it's a very compact 9mm semi-automatic pistol, and it's just an incredible little gun. Uh, we just did a review on the 10mm version, which is just awesome. One of the reasons, it has a delayed blowback system, which makes it really soft to shoot. The magazine release on the left side for your right-handed shooter is a little bit extended. And so it's really easy to get a hold of, and then of course with your trigger finger if you're right-handed. But even if you're left... It's not difficult to get a hold of that. It's more like a standard mag release. Squared off trigger guard with texturing. Uh, we have aggressive grips. Now the original grips were not near as aggressive. This has almost like a really light sandpaper. Uh, it's not too uncomfortable to rub your hand on, but you can feel the grip ability, of course, in this panel here and on the back strap. On the front, we have just line serrations across it. Gives it a really good feel to it. Uh, it doesn't feel blocky in your hand. It kind of molds to your hand. Gives you a very good position. And two, right here with this area, just allows your hand to come up without any texturing. So it makes it really quick on the handgun. We have a one slot Picatinny rail, but here with the Olight PL Turbo, fits really well. Streamlight TLR1, definitely right there where you can get a hold of your paddles. And the Surefire X300 Ultra, no problem. But your takedown tabs on either side, they are serrated, and so you can just pull this down. Disassembly is a little different, but not difficult. Here the trigger has serrations on it, and this trigger, I'm telling you guys, it is beautiful, and we're going to take a look at it. But now if you look at the barrel, uh, it is a bull barrel. Now the original Mark 12, uh, it had a fluted barrel. But one of the things I noticed with this is it's a very tight lockup. So that's going to give you really superb accuracy. It's very little play between slide to barrel. And then here, a little bit of play at the back. And the barrel is 4.8 inches. Again, it is highly polished stainless. It's very beautiful. It's very slick in the action. And with that rotating action, it really helps to keep this moving inside the channels. Uh, and guys, I'm just telling you, this is a very different type handgun to shoot. Now, a lot of times you have decockers. This just has a standard safety. So this is gonna be more like a cocked and locked. Uh, if you wanna drop your hammer, you know, it's, you're, you're dropping it on a live round. So that is something that you've gotta be extremely careful about. It does have a little bit of a half cock, which lessens the weight a little bit on the trigger. Triggers curved, have a little bit of take up. This is double action, so it's gonna be long and heavy but it is extremely consistent and smooth all the way through. There's no stacking at the end. Now we're gonna go single action and you'll watch the hammer come into the rear position. So we have a little bit of take up right to here. And a really fast, crisp break. Reset. Right there, very quick reset. Be honest with you guys the first time we took it out to the range uh, i got it out i went to shoot it and i pulled the trigger before i was ready because the trigger was just that light oh. that trigger is like super light <laughs> Man, that's a good trigger. So light. And that's really what you want with a competitive trigger. Now, when it gets down to a self-defense trigger, you want it to be a little bit heavier. But this, to me, is just an incredibly smooth trigger. Okay, we're gonna try the double action trigger pull with our Lyman trigger gauge. Seven pounds, 10 ounces. Seven pounds, 15 ounces. Single action. Two pounds, 6.4 ounces. 
two pounds, 8.6 ounces. Now that's a light trigger for a self-defense firearm. Uh, that's great for competitive shooting, but this can be used as a self-defense option if you need it. Here on the K100, which is really more of a duty pistol, three pounds, 4.3 ounces. That is still a nice trigger. Weight on the Grand Power Excalibur. 30.6 ounces. Now when it comes to back straps, it does have one attached. You get three additional straps and this is the large. It gives you a little more in the web of your hand if you have big hands. And then we have two smaller. Uh, this is the medium and we just left it on. This is the way it came. And I'm gonna give a big thank you to Fiocchi. Uh, they sponsor our ammo. It's all made in the USA. One of the biggest suppliers of ammunition in the country. And we love our Maglula from Lula Loaders, saving our thumbs. The Grand Power Excalibur. One of the big things about this handgun is that it, the barrel rotates. So it lessens the felt recoil, it shoots very smooth. It stays toward the front of the gun. It's a little bit strange because it doesn't come back in your hand as much. Uh, and which kind of like a piston gun, you know, a lot of the action is a little bit out front. That little delay with the rotation of the barrel just makes it shoot different. Plus, this slide has been lightened like crazy. Uh, it is double single action, but one of the biggest things to me is the trigger. Uh, it'll really surprise you because it is so light and it's really excellent. Same company that makes the Strebok, they're in Slovakia, but really that trigger, you've got to be a little careful until you get used to it because it is just a little bit of take up and then it fires. Large paddles for the safety, maybe a little bit larger than I personally would like, but you know, for competitive shooting, it would be excellent. Very smooth trigger pull. Sights, easy to see, that front fiber optics, great. But the slide is so light, uh, that may have a lot to do with it too, of any kind of mass coming back on your hand. The big story with this is that rotating barrel and that trigger is like phenomenal. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the hammer and I'm gonna shoot it double action. Yeah, even that double action trigger pull is really smooth. Uh, it's heavier, obviously, than the single action but still very shootable. Guys, if you haven't looked at the Grand Power series, uh, and there's a number of different handguns that they make, they even have a striker fired version. They are just excellent and very popular in Europe. Uh, we've done a number of reviews on the Grand Powers, uh, and that rotating barrel just really is smooth in your hand. Now for disassembly, we're gonna drop our magazine, check to make sure the gun is empty. I'm gonna leave my hammer in the rear position. Uh, here with your takedown tabs, you wanna get a hold of your trigger guard and as you pull down on your tabs, pull back on the slide and lift up, just like that. And then slowly bring it out, that recoil spring is under tension. So we have our flat recoil spring. Our guide rod is set into the frame which is definitely different and we're going to talk about this little piece in just a second. Here your barrel, just go ahead and pull it out. Now this is where the magic happens. I mean this thing is just a beautiful barrel uh, but here is the track and this actually runs inside this little notch. So as we set it down, if you'll notice it'll track honestly similar to an AK-47. Uh, so it just kind of moves, rotates back and forth. And that is what delays it. When the gun is fired, the barrel comes forward a little bit. It just delays it and it just gives it a totally different action. Plus this barrel is actually rotating as well when you're firing. 
So a definite different recoil impulse, just a flat surface. Uh, right here is where the feed ramp is, it's highly polished. And again, that barrel just sits right up against it. Now, because this barrel fits this way, there's no upward movement to the barrel. This is not a tilt barrel system. So that way you can get the barrel closer into the frame, just gives you a higher grip and it just allows for smoother shooting. With the slide having all the lightning cuts, that definitely helps reduce the weight. So there's less mass coming back in your hand. And as you can see, the slide has been skeletonized. Uh, even here at the back, you see all areas that can be trimmed out, they've cut them out, machined them out. And so there are these pockets, definitely a different kind of system than your polymer striker fire for sure. And then here is where your recoil spring and guide rod go into this housing, but a very well machined piece. And then we have just the chassis system, which has been around with Grand Power for a long time. So they have a total internal chassis, really long slide rails right here, a small abbreviated slide rail at the back, but this gives it really excellent frame to slide fit. And that's all you need to do to field strip. Uh, for reassembly, it does take a couple of things you need to take note of. First off, we have the Grand Power engraving right here, and it should be facing right outside the window of the chamber. So as we put it in, I like to go ahead and make sure that it's kind of lined up. Now it will move some, but just bring your barrel straight forward. And one thing I've noticed too, because the fitment is so good to the barrel slide, sometimes this will just set and it takes a little bit to get this moving, uh, which is just going to lend to good accuracy. We're going to go ahead and put our recoil spring on our guide rod and then capture it. And then we're going to bring it all the way back at an angle. You don't get it onto your slide rails. Go all the way back, lock it down, and then it just goes forward. <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, the first time I did it, it took me a little time to figure that out. But just getting that barrel up ahead, making sure that it's at least in general vicinity of this facing where your uh, slide cut is here, really allows this just to go back together very simply. Re-enter our magazine test for function, and we're back in business. Now it comes in a hard plastic box, it is lockable. Uh, you get your pistol, you get the magazine that's in it, plus two additional mags. So there's not a spot for the third mag, but I'm glad they added it. And then we have three additional back straps like we talked about, and of course we have our lock, optics plates and low pro frame safeties, and of course owner's manual, and you get a cleaning brush. As far as price, the MSRP, $1,132. Uh, at Gun Zone Deals, they're $1,099. A little side note about price is when you get into the double single actions, the prices go up. There's more hand fitting, there's more machining, parts are a little bit more intricate, so that's one of the reasons why you're seeing that. But there are a lot of advantages to the double single action. And so for a pistol of this class, that is really in line. But let's talk about some pros and cons. Uh, okay, first off, let's talk about price. That's just gonna be a little more expensive than your polymer striker fire pistols. They're just cheaper to produce. Also is the rotating barrel system. That is just massive. The slide is light, it's beautiful, a lot of cuts, very strong serrations. It really lightens that slide up. Beautiful stainless steel barrel and just the action. Fully ambidextrous. Again, if you don't like the paddles, you can change it to the more low profile frame safety. Another big plus is that it is optics ready and it does come with plates and that's a big deal. And also it comes with three magazines and the price on these runs about in the $20 range. Three backstrap options. I mean, this gun comes ready to go to fit you. And so that's just all a big plus. The accuracy is excellent. Now, what are some cons? Uh, one thing I'm gonna give it a little bit of a ding for, and yet I understand why they did it. Uh, the adjustable sight on the back, uh, it's windage and elevation adjustable, but you lose it when you take the plate off. But I honestly don't know how they could do it without that way. Uh, it's not just a dovetail with the sight back here. So this is gonna have to come off, but it does give us the ability to have a red dot sight. And that fiber optic sight's excellent with that adjustable rear. So sights are excellent, but that's one thing. One slot on the Picatinny rail, uh, it can limit you maybe on some, but as we've shown, we've three different lights fit perfectly, and those are probably some of the better quality lights that are out on the market. Trigger pull, incredible. But I would give a warning with the single action trigger pull being 
two pounds. Now, this really kind of limits itself more toward the range, more toward sport shooting than it would for a home defense firearm. It's not that you can't use it that way, but you really need to train because when you pull that trigger, it's a very light trigger pull. But if you're wanting something more for home defense, I highly recommend the K100 or some of its variants. Again, they have been doing a lot of changes since this model came out. So the Grand Power Excalibur, definitely a unique experience. That light and slide, the rotating barrel system, the double single action trigger that is absolutely incredible. Probably one of the best double single action triggers on the market. And these things are built solid. And again, we really appreciate Nate over at Gun Zone Deals for sending the Excalibur Mark 23 for this review. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. That barrel just spins up uh, in, okay, no, no, it doesn't just spin. It doesn't spin. The Grand Power Excalibur Mark 23. Let's check it out. Let's <laughs> rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby how much wood, 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 chuck, 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 wood, chuck, chuck, wood, chuck, wood, check it out, check it out. Polymer Strucker Fire Pistols out on the market. There's just so many <laughs> that it sucks. Three magazines, oops gun line, uh, even the Streebok, which is, suck! <laughs> Similar to the PX4 Storm by Beretta, but the, okay. Nah, I don't wanna do that.